the hat that dare not show its brim. That's the focus of tonight's angle. There's so much news to cover every day in Trump world that you'd think the press would stick to real reporting and analysis on important political developments. But no. So move over Anna Winter, because left-wing malefactors are now in the business of dissing fashion accessories. Oh, no, no, not, not that one. No, no, not, not, not ugly uh, flip-flops. No, no. Yes, that one, bingo! A hat carries a certain connotation that provokes a conditioned reaction from many people, especially from marginalized people. America is already the most punitive developed nation on earth for poor people, for people of color. We throw millions of lives onto that bonfire every year. They just don't normally look like the teenagers in MAGA hats. This Make America Great Again hat is just as maddening and frustrating and triggering for me to look at as a KKK hood. Mm, well. They've triggered me. In the wake of the Covington Catholic High School fracas, the red MAGA hat has now become a talisman of evil and a symbol of white supremacy. Savannah Guthrie brought it up with a student at the center of the controversy, Nick Sandman, today on the Today Show. Do you think if you weren't wearing that hat, this might not have happened or it might have been different? That's possible, but I would have to assume what Mr. Phillips was thinking and I'd rather let him speak for why he came up to us. So the red hat now is apparently the Annabelle of head coverings, a thing capable of unleashing evil wherever it's seen. There is also a subtext here that's meant to intimidate. We're going to get into that. The left wants to take away your right to wear whatever the heck you want. Now, this is kind of a, oh, it's weird. It's a left-wing version of Puritanism, their own version of it, where they get to dictate what goody fill-in-the-blank is allowed to wear. And anyone who dares to violate their dictates is either shamed or just labeled hateful, xenophobic, misogynistic, unreasonable, stupid, and, of course, racist. Bishop Talbert Swan, a Harvard Divinity School grad, tweeted, when Trayvon Martin was murdered, y'all said black parents shouldn't let their boys wear hoodies if they didn't want them perceived as thugs. But y'all don't want your boys perceived as racist little jackasses for wearing MAGA hats? Hashtag Covington boys. Mr. Swan will join us in a moment. This leftist narrative that a Make America Great Again hat is akin to wearing some Nazi uniform is patently ridiculous and it's offensive. It's just plain stupid. But this is the defamation and intimidation that the left happily perpetuates. By the way, with little to no pushback. Predictably, of course, never Trump Republicans are also taking up the chorus. Ross Douth out of the New York Times tweeted in part, good rules for life. Don't let your Catholic school students wear MAGA hats on a, for a field trip for the March for Life. And of course, Bill Kristol never misses an opportunity to hit the president and his supporters, even when he has his facts wrong, said, the contrast between the calm dignity and quiet strength of Mr. Phillips and the behavior of MAGA brats who have absorbed the spirit of Trumpism, this spectacle is a lesson which all Americans can learn. Whether a piece of clothing says, feel the burn, or I'm with her, it's all a form of political expression, and thus it is speech protected by the First Amendment. You can be offended by it, but you can't purposely use it to intimidate and frighten people and even terrorize them. But today's left, joined by the rabid Never Trumpers, are so desperate to be proven right about the president, they seize on symbols instead of solving problems. I mean, guys, it's a lot easier, isn't it, to brand kids racist for what they're wearing than to debate adults on things like immigration and trade policy. But for some, the MAGA hat, well, it symbolizes something very different. It was something about when I put this hat on, it made me feel like Superman. You made a Superman. That was, that's my favorite superhero. And you made a Superman cape. Well, Kanye kind of saw, saw this all coming when he said he didn't want people to control him, to tell him what or how to think because of the color of his skin. Today's real rebels are the kids who dared to show up for the March for Life last Friday. Today's real rebels are the faithful who refuse to genuflect to what's popular and instead defend what they think is right. 
Today's real rebels, they reject the collectivist mindset of Hollywood, the media, and the universities that obliterate history instead of actually teaching it. And yes, today's rebels will wear MAGA hats, knowing that they might be abused for doing so like the Covington kids were. And in the end, it's really not about the hat, is it? It's about 2020. Trump-hating fanatics aim to deprive the president of any opportunity to brand his re-election campaign. In other words, any Trump paraphernalia will be verboten. I thought about this today, and it's actually, in its own way, a form of voter intimidation and potentially lethal, with consequences that are incredibly destructive. By the way, you can't scream fire, right, in a crowded theater, and you can't scream racist when someone in a crowd wears a hat you don't like. And that's the angle.